maybe you could give us a little secret um, about how you stayed so happily in marriage and working together for so many years. <laughs> it's like tomato sauce. It just flows. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's the secret. We laugh at each other. Yes. <laughs> All right. So, shall we make some? Make some mustard. Yes. Yeah. Started off like, oh, 20 some odd years ago in our kitchen outside of Toronto. So, one of the secrets about making mustard is we use mustard powder. We couldn't find a good barbecue sauce. David and I are both chemists by training, and our youngest son is a chef. Now, we're gonna be making uh, maple crunch. So we kind of, you know, played with it and uh, came up with the sauce, and then everybody liked it. Friends kept saying, you know, you should bottle it, you should sell it, but, you know, life got in the way. So fast forward to 2015, we moved to Perth Road, which is just outside of Kingston. So, this is uh, Maiden Frontenac maple syrup. I was at a um, CFDC, Frontenac CFDC breakfast. They had beginner packages where you could do a pilot batch. So I talked my husband into doing it. We made a batch and we thought, well, let's see if it sells and it sold. One of our best customers, as a matter of fact, Glenn Birdie, kept saying, we need a mustard. I've got to go into mustard. I said, no. <laughs> and in year two, I said, no. In year three, I said, oh, all right, I'll make a mustard for you. So we made a mustard, and it sold. And then we've made more mustard. You know, thank goodness for the local community because we actually have done very well. And then uh, come spring, a, one of our garlic growers said, I've got a bag of scapes, 40 pounds of scapes. You should make relish because you're into condiments. And I was like, okay. So we did, and it's old. <laughs> the spices, yeah, uh, the secret mix. The secret it's pre-mixed before it gets here. So what we try to do is use as much local farmers as possible. In the food business, relationships are still important. Farmers that we deal with and producers, we deal with them, they deal with us. There's a relationship, you know, and there's a trust. So a lot of our customers pride themselves on carrying local products. We're not big on planning. <laughs> You know, we'll see how it goes. If our son from Europe comes home, if he wants to, he can take over the business. Matter of fact, it'll be perfect because yeah. he'll cook and David will talk. No. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>